Hello, future designers and developers. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use uh, different fonts from Google Fonts onto our web page over here. So I have an H1 and I have a paragraph tag. One says, hello, burgers, and the other one says, nice to meet you, burgers. Ha, 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 ha. Should also be a direct address, so we need a comma right there. Anyways, we're gonna find two different fonts to add to this page. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to uh, Google Fonts. So Google Fonts is a great website that allows us to use a lot of fonts for free. There are more that are expensive. Don't pay for fonts in this class, it's okay. Um, so let's find some fonts that we like. Uh, my font of choice I always love uh, is Oswald. Oswald's one of my go-to fonts. Uh, so for a heading font, I'm gonna choose something, uh, we'll do a semi-bold. So I'm gonna click, select this, so I now have this style. It's basically in my cart up here. So I'm going to hide this over here. Uh, so I now have one font that I'm going to replace Hello Burgers with that font. Let's go find a, another font. Um, you can just kind of see Poppins is always a good one. Um, I'm going to go with Roboto Mano. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to grab a light font too, to contrast well with our bolder font. So I have two different fonts that I've added in here. And I'm gonna go back to this view selected families. And you can see that we have uh, use for web. Uh, we can embed this code into our head of our HTML. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy and paste this right over here and go into my index and throw it into the head. So in between these two tags, uh, it doesn't really matter where I place it, but I'm going to paste what Google gave me, and I now have those two links to the different fonts. Uh, so I have them right over here, uh, as well as this right here that links uh, two different things. You can see I've got Oswald with a specific weight and then Roboto Mono with a specific weight. Sweet. So let's go into our CSS and we're going to use those fonts. First thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call out my H1 selector and then I am also going to call out my paragraph selector. So we're not done with Google Fonts yet because it gives us our CSS right here. I can go and I can grab my font family of Oswald and I'm going to assign that to my H1 and then I'm gonna grab the font family of Roboto Mano and I'm going to grab that and I'm gonna assign it to the paragraph. There we go. So now we have added two different fonts to our web pages. Uh, we've got our uh, font families up here. What I would suggest you do too, uh, this, we have our comment section over here. We can throw in those font families over here so that if we ever need to grab these font families again, we can have them uh, right at top. We know where they're at. We can always store these two if we haven't used them yet and we're just grabbing assets for our web page. All right, that's a real quick tutorial. If you have any questions, please reach out. I'll talk to you later. Bye.